Okay. Um. Send you to do that. Send you to get that. Give you some food. And Olivia, you can give you some medicine. Awesome. Gorgi Semenov, a good old Jack Frost. You must wonder what happened to him all those years ago. Why would he work with the NAR, my love? Surely he must have a good explanation. He was always kind to us. Alright. Oh, piss off. Oh, this is still it's a pick locking door, isn't it? Down here? I think so. I'll check anyway. Oh, the guy's gone. Yeah, pick locking door. Great. Alright. Just make my way over. Herbs. Very nice. Oh yeah, that's a pick up door as well. Okay, fucking hell. Come on. There you go. Dispatched an entire squad to fly in here and escort this old fart just so he can dig through some papers? This old fart is more valuable to them than an entire battalion of grunts like you. Guess I'm in the wrong line of work, huh? Not at all, Sasha. I think you're exactly where you're supposed to be. There he is. You. I'm surprised to see you here. You are. Are you Professor Semenov? Georgi Semenov, from the Vladimir Ilyich Lenin nuclear power plant? Lenin is long gone, but the power plant is still there. It is me, yes. I would appreciate it if you lowered your weapon. It's me, Igor Kimenyuk. I know it's been 30 years, but don't you recognize me? Igor and Tatyana. You brought us to Chernobyl and helped us get our flat in Pripyat. Of course. I remember now. Igor and Tatyana. You were like the son and daughter I never had. Tell me, how is she? What are you doing here, Professor? Are you... Are you really working for NAR? Do you know what they're doing in the zone? How they treat the summer shells. Please, Igor, slow down. My concern is science, as it always has been. The politics and administrative piffle I leave to others. Then what are you doing here, exactly? You don't need to worry about me. I haven't turned into Dr. Mengele. I study the local, uh, fauna. They're very peculiar, very dangerous. You must have run into them at some point. There are reports dating back from before the Chernobyl catastrophe. It's very important that we gather every bit of available information. Let the man catch his breath. Otherwise, he may become suspicious. He was probably forced to work for NAR. That's my guess.
The shadows, yes. They seem to have some connection to Chernobylite. So you know about Chernobylite? Did you get a chance to study it? Perhaps we could compare notes. And what about yourself, Igor? Why are you here? This is a restricted area, as you must know. I haven't seen Tatyana in 30 years. I... I seem to have some blank spots in my memory. I can't remember what happened the night of the disaster. I need to find her. I need to find out what happened to us. Reactor number four. That was a real disaster. Some of our colleagues paid the ultimate price for this misguided experiment. That's what happens when politicians are placed in charge of scientists. And Tatiana, such a sweet girl, and your friend Boris, you three were inseparable. I called you my three musketeers, remember? <laughs> Look, my security detail will be back soon to collect me. I don't want them to hurt you or start asking questions. How can I get in touch? I will find you. Now, go. Great. Oh, fuck. Now you look shit. I know what you fucking doing. Christ, what kind of experiments have the KGB been conducting? Is the NAR trying to continue their work? All right, cool. Um, I don't remember how to get out of this place. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. I oh, know that's the place I can't get in, isn't it? Alright, I guess I'll just do it. Nice. Hey there. Fantastic. As you've already noticed, Mousy, resources are scarce in the zone. It's essential to conserve materials when crafting. You see, Mousy, any damn fool can make soup. Throw a bunch of shit in a pan, add water, turn on the heat, and hope for the best. But the secret lies in learning the correct proportion of ingredients, and not just in meals. This applies to crafting in general. I'll show you how it's done. But first, you'll need to find two flammable and one mechanical ingredients. I hid them nearby, so keep your little mouse eyes open. We don't have all day, Mousy. Hurry it up. All right, Mr. Impatient. Fucking gimme. Jesus. Oh my fucking be. Clearly the light of the rat catcher shines upon you. I'll show you how to craft ammo from scrap without wasting too many resources. 
Is it dangerous? Sure. But only if you have n well done. Oh, you're a difficult student in spite of all your PhDs, but I'll turn you into a survivalist mousy yet. You make me proud, Igor. Under my guidance, you will become the ultimate rat exterminator. What's the matter, man? Thank you. Hey there. And I want to do this Bam. as well. Okay, Mousy, I upgraded your PDA. The scanner now uses much less energy and charges faster. It's useful when you need to find something to eat. Let's go hunting. We may as well stock up while we practice. Use the upgraded PDA to track down and shoot some small game. I can hunt? I didn't even know I could do that. What do you want me to look for? Oh, shit, the rabbit. Alright. Hold on. Give me the fucking gun. Well, what am I supposed to do if I can't shoot the fucker? Rav. Dude. I will let you know when we're done. I can't fucking do anything. Hello. What, do you want me to just... Oh, okay. There we go, finally. What's the matter, man? Okay, well, that's cool. Good to know. Um Yes. for the crossbow. There we go. Okay. Um Range and stability damage. I'm gonna go with damage. Oh, nothing. Okay. There we go. I'll do, I'll do another day. Just because not much. Not much went on yesterday, or that day, so...
Day 16. Nice. We need to talk, Igor. I'm all okay. ears. Got some intel that needs acting on. NAR is preparing a huge shipment of munitions. Maybe Ooh. food as well. Oh, you're not wasting any time on that radio, huh? Damn straight I'll look into it. No. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? There. Fucking hell. Oh, okay, actually, yeah, give that to him. 73? Olivier wants to play soldiers, Igor. For him, everything is war. And the spoils of war. What about you, my darling? What is your mission? The NAR doesn't care about anything or anyone. Deaths are just numbers on a page for that greedy corporate beast. And the beast won't allow you to pull out its teeth so easily. Let's go. God damn. Oh, that's awful sight. Fucking hell, yeah, I really need a red dot on this or something. Just him. Oh no, there's another guy right there. This has some shit range on it. The scan is terrible. If it was just this one guy, I would have tried the crossbow out, but... Oh, I mean, no, there is just one guy, so... When I finish my contract, I'm going to grow a beard. Oh, fuck. Chicks in Moscow dig beards. And that is why I need a sight for this fucking thing. But at least he didn't hear it. Guys, we've got... Yeah. Nice. Okay, so it's extremely silent and it's a one hit to the body. Obviously it'll make my um my psyche go down, but if I ever need it it works. Definitely fucking works. Olivier, oh. I'm up on the roof. There's a signal flare in the distance. I assume it's red? Yes. Must be the drop zone. That's your target. Time to roll. Good luck. Yes, sir, Olivier, sir. <laughs> Anton was a good guy. So let's do our best. For him. Try to keep a low profile out there. Don't let well, NAR dear. spot you. And don't take more than you can easily carry. <laughs> Yep, I won't. I'll do you proud, Anton. I promise. Fuck me. No, I don't want to do that.
Looks like Kozlov really pulled some strings this time. This is a ton of ammo. Good. This all was supposed to be a fucking holiday. And instead... <gasps> Cool beans. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Hell yes. Super stealth. Olivier, I can see the crates. It looks promising. Well done. I know you worked hard for this, but don't get greedy. Remember, low profile. Don't listen to that soldier boy. <laughs> Fuck low profile. Remember the pointers I gave you, Igor. Be a pro. Igor, any ammo you leave behind, they're gonna use to shoot you in the ass. Blow that shit sky high. I don't wanna fucking blow it up. Olivier's right. Causing an uproar when it's not completely necessary won't help our mission. I wanna take this shit. Three food rations and only 15 revolver ammo. Okay, that's not as much as I thought I was going to get, but... I honestly might just get rid of Mikhail, because he's, he's really... He's always telling me to do the fucking worst ideas, and he gets so pissy with me whenever I don't do the extremely reckless shit. So I might just tell him to fuck off, to be honest. Anyway. Got an AK. Anything else I can build? Uh, don't really need them, but nice to know that they're still there, I guess. This is what I need to build next. 100 fucking percent. This is what I need to build next. Okay. But I do need some more radiation security if I am to build that. So. Just put another one of them down. Move. Nice. Okay, 
and go down this episode here then. So as always, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, leave a comment, I reply to them all, I hug them all and I like them all. Subscribe if you're new if you haven't already. And share this video with everyone you know, because that always really helps me out. And I'll see you all in the next episode. To glue buckaroos.